Happy Thursday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase, and here's your next tip. A lot of companies use a network for shared access to files. While using a network location for storage is often unavoidable, it can definitely have detrimental effects on SOLIDWORKS open and save time. I'll be showing that by opening the same assembly twice, the only difference being that one is local and the other is on a network. I'll start off by showing how long it takes to open from a network. While I do that, I'll briefly explain why it takes longer. There are several different stops the file information has to pass through between the server and your machine. On a machine where the files are local, they go directly from the hard drive to the RAM when opening, and then right back to the hard drive when they're saved. On a network, it's a bit more complicated. But basically, the information goes from the server's hard drive through its connection to the network, then a switch, then the local machine's network connection, and finally into the local RAM. All of this is just for an open operation. To save the file, it would repeat the same process, just in reverse. Alright, now that this is finished, you can see it took pretty long. Almost everything took 0.2 seconds or more to open. Now I'm going to restart SOLIDWORKS just to make sure this part information isn't cached anywhere. And then I'll go ahead and open a local copy, but I'll address another possible issue with working over a network. Each one of those steps in the network process introduces its own delay in delivery, as well as an opportunity for corruption to sneak in. This is a huge reason you're better off working with a local copy of the files. That is essentially what SOLIDWORKS PDM does. It creates local copies of the files on the network, and then updates those network files when they're checked back in. This both decreases the time spent waiting for operations like open and save to complete, and increases reliability. Now that this copy is open, we can go ahead and check its performance again. Here you can see that even the file that took the longest to open didn't take too much more time than some of the quickest over a network. And the second slowest in this case opened faster than any of the parts in the previous example. In addition to being significantly faster on open, this would also save much quicker and wouldn't be at as much risk for corruption. Thanks for watching. Contact me if you have any questions, and I'll see you tomorrow.